coming up with the first simplex table. Let's consider this example. Suppose that the following model is a linear programming model for the production of two dresses at a factory, namely dress 1 and dress 2. Come up with the first simplex table for the model. To come up with the first simplex table, first convert constraints into equations by adding a slack variable to each constraint. The model has three constraints, thus there will be three slack variables. Add slack 1 to the first constraint, slack 2 to the second constraint, and slack 3 to the third constraint. And then put slack 2 and slack 3 with zero coefficients in the first equation, put slack 1 and slack 3 with zero coefficients in the second equation, put slack 1 and slack 2 with zero coefficients in the third equation. Put also slack 1, slack 2 and slack 3 with zero coefficients in the objective function. Write the non-negativity constraints for the model. Now this new form of model is now called standard form of a linear programming model. Next, set all real variables to zero. Real variables are x1, x2 and x3. Setting all these variables to 0, we obtain S1 equals to 30, S2 equals to 40, and S3 equals to 50. Lastly, build the table. The first column of the table is for basic variable and the last column is for quantity. List out all the variables from the model in the first row of the table. Put the variables with values that is S1, S2 and S3 in the basic column and write their corresponding values in the quantity column. Write the constraint coefficient of each variable in the body of the table. And then write the objective function coefficient of each variable on top of the table as well as at the left side of the table. The objective function coefficient of each variable is denoted as C. The second last row is for the objective function value, namely Z. Z is obtained by taking the summation of the multiplication of each value of C at the left side of the table with each corresponding constraint coefficient value in the body of the table. The last row is for C minus Z. C minus Z is simply obtained by subtracting the value of Z from the value of C on top of the table.